So I have here the posterior view of the right forearm and hand. And here it's showing um, the origins and insertion. Please watch the other video. We are now at one page 152, page 152, and still a trail guide to the body. Okay, so looking at the image here, we have abductor pollicis longus, and we have the both um, extensor, uh, the longus and brevis, right? So uh, looking at posterior view here, um, we have the origin, as you can see, right? The three origins, okay? And on the insertion, right? So we have the insertion for abductor pollicis longus here, and we have extensor pollicis brevis, because it's um, the proximal, right? And this one here, extensor pollicis longus, long. Remember what I said for the other video, right? So this is um, distal balance, okay? So now uh, moving forward to um, the flexor, <coughs> excuse me, pollicis longus. Action is to flex the thumb and to flex um, the thumb at the um, metacarpal phalangeal and carpal metacarpal joints, right? We have here the earlier flexing the thumb at the interphalangeal joint. Okay, so um, interphalangeal joint, right? So uh, as is to flex the wrist at the radial carpal um, joint. Okay, so it is just to fle uh, flex the wrist here. So the origin, as you can see here, right? Uh, anterior surface of uh, radius and enterosci membrane. Okay, this is the enterosci membrane in here. And insertion is the base of distal phalanx of the thumb, right? Because of the word longus again, it goes to the base. Um, nerve innervation is at, uh, is, sorry, my apologies, median C6, C7, C8, and T1.